on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Plus, he's a bigger problem, Diego. It's just this this little bracelet that Ayama kid gave me. It's starting to chafe. Can I just remove it? Just this one? No. Excuse me. No, you cannot remove it. And give me a good reason why not. As, yeah. They take out a similar looking French rear bracelet and they get. Go, this is what happens. As it snaps shut, and all you can be seen left are very sharp blades attached to it. Uh. It's not done yet. Wait, what? As the blades retracts, that's not the worst. It, oh no, it can do more. Depending on the setting. Usually these things are meant for collars, but seemingly the client at least has a specific purpose for this one. And what might that be? I'm flipping a switch and it goes full on electric. Izuku seeing this, he's gonna fry me. Yeah, huh? Yes, pretty much. So, why would we accept a job from this guy? Money. He offered us a lot of money. Plus, He's well known in the underground. Known for being a dangerous person. If it wasn't for his generous offer, we probably would have been forced to comply to begin with. <sighs> okay. Okay. So, this plan is to... What, again? Kill all my... Yes. We do know if we succeed in offing the number one hero, they'll create chaos. Maybe that's what he wants. Either way, we do not disappoint our clients. You mean like Dale did last time? Tch. Hey, that was not my fault. I didn't know there was another one like me as a bodyguard. I swear I'll kill her next time I see you. And I will do the best I can to make sure that doesn't happen. Seriously, you gotta stop babying me. I'm more than strong enough to take her. Uh, yeah, but she almost killed you. If it wasn't for luck. I wasn't serious. You were trained, taught to treat every job seriously. Every assassination attempt you... Every job you took, you dealt with it with the most sincere, serious attitude you can muster. Every single one. This one will not be as easily forgiven as the last. I can't allow my subordinates to be ineffective. I don't care if they're even you. Do you understand? I... Good. You just missed. He's even walking up. And pretty much. What is he gonna do if I fail this time? 
So you're really gonna kill him. So I have no choice. Hmm. But I think it's about time you actually put your foot down. Give him that kid. Seriously. You could just opt him like you did in the rest of his family. That's the thing. What if I didn't? What if I didn't take him out as efficiently as I thought? Well, that would mean one angry mother and one definitely angry sibling. Are you sure the husband's dead? Oh, yeah. Two in the chest, one in the head. That's how you know when they're dead. Hmm. Still staying on this time, doesn't it? As yes, Soto is pretty much feeling a scar from a claw mark. It was a lot stronger than I anticipated. Should have killed him. Perhaps. But I wouldn't have had as much success as we do now without him. Yeah, you say that. But I think you just don't have much faith in us. His success rate is 100%. Was... 100. He's becoming a liability. He may be right. Good. So after this job, what are you going to do about it? Why do you think I had the little talk with him? To let him know that this next job is serious. And if he bunks it up, It'll probably be more than his head on a chopping block. What? Yeah. The guy who gave us this job, he did not seem like he was so forgiving. From what I heard, failure is far from an option. I heard he, he can actually, what? Steal quirks. Uh, what? Yes, this is what the rumors say. No, 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 so that's impossible. No, no one's able to actually steal a quirk. What's he you? How would he ever do that? I don't know. But all I heard was those people were never the same after. Those who survived became comatose. Seizures. One thing for sure. Getting your corpse stolen changes you. And I do not want to experience such a <sighs> So you want me to back him up? No. This is his job. <sighs> All we have to do is hope for the best. You are putting far too much faith in that kid. No, I have faith. And um, yes, but it's well deserved. So you're willing to put that much faith in him. Your quirk, your life on the line for this kid. Yes, but if he fails. If I'll do it myself, 
personal discipline and the way I was taught. Like why I had to kill your brother for his transgressions. Uh, as now we cut to Izumi, in which her and Go are pretty much going back and forth when it comes to a certain someone. Go talking about the assassin that tried to kill Momo and Himiko, while Izumi is pretty much complaining about Izuku more and more. He goes being like, oh, are you serious? Please stop this. P please. I'm trying to find the one who tried to kill our clients. And while I'm doing that, you're going gaga over some guy. I'm not gaga. I'm just... I hate him that much. Hate. Really? Yeah. Mmm... You know, the, you know what they say, there's a thin line between love and hate. Psst. Oh, please. I don't like guys like that anyway. I prefer people like... Like... People like how... Izuku was. I know. memory just won't stop rewinding in my head I don't understand I mean I have slight visions of it before but why are they starting to resurface in such frequent succession maybe this boy is more special than you wish to admit. <laughs> no way. My brother was brave. Even as a baby, he protected me. He heard me cry. And he transformed. Though still a cup, he was still ferocious. I... I wish I knew what happened. You know what happened. He was killed. Yeah, but I... It's best if you don't try to, you know, deviate from reality. You said you heard his last, you know, he's, the last thing he roared at. Yeah. As far as I can tell, uh, he put one hell of a fight before that. <sighs> but either way, that just makes it more important that I become a hero. He would have been a great one. But his life was stolen from him. He pr protected me when we were both babies that's <laughs> but I couldn't do anything you were a baby too yeah but he s saved me he looked back at me as he pounced It was brave, courageous, stupid, but just they don't know why he fought so hard. 
just to die like that. Because your brother wanted to protect you. He was your brother and I just wish he was here so you could see how far you've worked. He would have been there with you. <laughs> uh, I can only imagine your hero names. <laughs> um, you, you really think well, they'll ever find the ones responsible. I don't know. And all I do know is that you are going to be late for school. Understood? Now, go, go on. <sighs> Enough of this reminiscing. As yes, Izumi she leaves. While it goes, she is clutching her pendant as well as trying to hold back her tears. As yes, she, as you would expect, swears that she will find those who took her son away. And not bring them to justice, but slaughter them with the utmost brutality gory way possible. And she will do her best to make sure they last long enough to truly suffer the way she and her daughter has suffered all these years. Ahem. <laughs> Okay, enough of that. Let's get to USJ, shall we? In which... It's similar to how it is in canon, except... Diego, as you, as he's been going by... He's being very stoic. Quiet. Trying not to... Really think about the fact that... Yeah, if he fucks up, he could... Uh, die... I mean, losing an arm is one thing, life, and by electrocution. Mm, mm, mm. I've been tased before, but never to the extent like uh, that. It's pretty much what he's thinking. But this is when it comes to Izumi, she's looking back at him. She sees that he's somewhat lost in thought, but... I talk to him or just... What is it? Hmm? Oh, come on. What is it, Momo? Seriously, you keep on looking at, it, at him. Why don't you go ahead and go talk with him? I... I don't know what you mean. Well, you obviously aren't worried about him. I mean, look at him. He's... He seems like he's going through something. Why not be uh, his savior? <laughs> no way. <sighs> Do you have to be so stubborn? Yes. I think that's how my brother would be. Uh, again? What? Is your brother Izuku all you really talk about? He, the guy isn't even here, and here you are just mouthing off like over and over again. Come on. Uh. Mm, I'm sorry. What are you talking about? Nothing in the cover. Oh, she's talking about her brother again. Huh. I wonder 
If your brother was here, would you let me date him? No. I will not allow my brother to be trapped in the claws of a blood queen like you. That's hurtful. I love your friends. We are. That's why I can say things like that easily. Because I know you. Well, what about me? Momo, I mean this in the best possible way, but there is no way in hell. I, my brother would not really be into chicks like you. Or you, Vampire Queen. What makes you so sure? Because my brother is... Mm. See, you can't even think of anything. No, no, I got something. He's... Brave, courageous, he he would be one of the greatest heroes if he... Uh, Izuku's hearing this is... Wow. Something terrible must have happened. I kind of feel sorry for... Shut up. We have to get this finished. Then I can finally get that thing off of you. What? Uh, the bracelet. Duh, the bracelet. I know it gets on your nerves as much as it does mine. I mean, it itches. Yeah. And I do not want to get electrocuted. What? Wait, you, you didn't know? No, wait, no what? These things can fry us, or decapitate, or at least cut off whatever they're uh, clinging to. So I can lose my arm? Or have your brain fried, yeah. How did you not know this? I... <sighs> Let's just finish this. Sooner it's done, the better. Hmm. Yeah. Sooner this is done, the better. As now, it gets to the. Let's not say the height of the USJ. Let's just say they finally get there. As Izuku, he can already smell. Yeah. Something's not right on it. And then he sees Zuma, he's been, um, what's your eyes out and say, are you sh sure it's supposed to be just us? Uh, damn, I forgot she had, it's the same sense as mine. <laughs> just not as honed, but still very impressive. <laughs> uh, too bad, too bad. Maybe in another life we could have been friends. Uh, Mr. Aizawa, I think uh, Izume may be a little, a little tired or something. I can't smell a thing. Really? Uh, what? Yeah, I don't smell anything. Yeah, uh, yeah, like I believe you. No, no, he... <sighs> Mr. Azao says that you can trust my senses. His must be uh, a little on the fritz or whatnot, but mine are top notch. Come on. Like, I can tell that he's had that little male bracelet on him since... <laughs> oh! Seriously. Do you ever take that thing off? Uh, is, is wait? Huh? As she moves past, she's heading straight towards Ayama. He's shit, shit, shit. She's gonna know that something is up. Is okay, okay. Let's just go ahead and get this rescue train over with. The sooner we do, the better. And 
who knows, maybe we'll find people to rest whose senses are better as well. Miss Midoriya, if you are correct, we'll quickly evacuate. But if you are incorrect, you will face repercussions for worrying the students. Oh, they're fine. As soon as they go in, it's all quiet, calm. Izuku's like, okay, where are the other people you were smelling, huh? No. Someone is here. A lot of people. Just pointing at each, every direction the villains are hiding. Yuzuku, like I said, I don't smell a thing. I pretty much think we established that I'm stronger than you. The hell we have is yeah they start to square up. Those are just it's enough. But as soon as he says that, this is when the portal opens and villains appear. Izumi's like, I told you so. As they get separated, just like in Canada, Izumi is still in the water. Little shipwreck zone. Which is like, oh, I don't like this at all. Man, dude, what? Don't, don't tell me. Are are you? What? Are you a scared of the water? <laughs> Izuku pretty much choking Mana out. Is like, please, I was kidding. No, you aren't. Take it back. Uh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I won't say it again. I promise. Good. As they begin their little, okay, how are we going to get out of here? As Izuku, he can hear the villains starting to approach. Damn, I, I'm, damn, I'm not supposed to interfere, but also if I don't do something, that be very suspicious of <sighs> him jumping into the water. As then you can see a bunch of bodies just starting to flop right onto the boat. Soon, okay, like, what the hell? As then he's, he's flailing around. Like nobody's business. He's like, please, someone save me. I can't swim. Sue, being the, the wonderful angel she is, dives in to save him. And it's nice. It's sweet, adorable, yada, yada, yada. He thanks Sue profusely. Manetta is trying his best not to piss himself laughing too much. But just like again, and Sue is actually in danger from Shigaraki. Only thing is, Izuku, having somewhat protective instinct, all of a sudden just start to kick in, lunges at Shigaraki, and bites down on his hand. Shigaraki screaming and yelling like, "Wait, what the hell? Did you really just bite?" Wait, that bracelet. As Shigaraki takes it out of her mouth, Zuku just stands down. <laughs> I thought so. This is when Nomu shows up after folding Aizawa. And it starts being the ever-loving shit out of Izuku. Him pretty much having no choice but to take all these punches while... Sue and Manetta are running away. And yeah, he's like, he already knows how to beat this thing. Go for the brain, duh. Only thing is, he knows that if he does, chances are he's going to fry. Huh. Pretty much like a chicken sandwich at Chick fil A. Extra crispy. Damn, now I'm hungry. 
as this fight is going on, Izuku started to see with one eye just swollen to high hell shut, he sees Izumi starting to take on villains. She's doing great. She starts to transform to a full saber to a tiger, and it's wait. Why does that look so familiar? Green hair, summer. It's only when he sees her getting bodied out to words that something else sparks. Something he thought he never really is like, wait, man, something's not right here. Why is she? Why does this scenario seem so familiar? And right now. Toga and Momo are right beside her as she is cowering. Cowering. Either way, she's terrified. Because as more villains start to pop up, she starts seeing that these odds are really stacked against them. Like they had a lot more villains and she was prepared to fight. But then she starts. That noise. As yes, he looks, he, he listens, and he sees that yes, it is Izumi making this high pitched whine as if she's begging for help. She, as she's scared. But when she starts whining, next thing he hears is Save me, brother. Izuku's hearing that, the memory starts flooding back of the car accident, their father getting gunned down, as well as Soto going for him and Izumi. Only thing is, Izumi was unconscious, and Izuku decides, you're not going to touch my sister. Yeah, then he remembers where Soto got that scar from. But as these memories are falling back, he's still getting by slammed, punched, kicked by the Nomu. And this just sets him off the deep end. Him grabbing the Nomu by the head with one hand and ripping out his brain with the other. Shigaraki is horrified at seeing this carnage. Tries to fumble around and get the remote. He does, but Izuku's already set his sights on Shigaraki, and he snatches it. Walks away, but not before he cuts off one of Shigaraki's hands and takes it. Shigaraki is pretty much stranded there without Kurigiri, since yeah, Bakugo is still holding Kurigiri hostage. And this is when Izuku is starting to tear and rip through all the villains. Why well, I mean tearing and ripping through? There is gashes, blood, pieces being flown to and from the place. It is a bloodbath and Izuku is definitely getting a nice shower of crimson. Toga seeing this, she's already in love. Momo seeing this is like, where did this come from? Izumi? Wait. As then, Izuku turns from his regular human form, then his hybrid, straight to his full-on saber-tooth tiger mode. It's... It's kicking up some memories for Izumi too. As he looks back, ready to defend her just as he did all those years ago. Her looking right at him in his eyes. Izuku? I, uh, I'm not sure. I don't know who I am. I'm sorry. As yes, Izuku is standing tall, ready to rip through more villains. 
But this is about the time when... Wait. As then he starts feeling a slight... You can say charge. Come on to his little bracelet. As he's looking, he has the remote. The only thing is... Wait, where's this coming from? Shigaraki holding another one. As he puts it on full charge and pushes the button. Pretty much having Yuzuku go through... You can say, oh, fuck ton of electricity going straight through his body. Izumi and the others are like, what the hell is going on? Izuku is yelling and screaming in pain. And as is Ayama. Them wondering, like, wait, what's going on? Is This is about the time when All Might does show up. He sees two students being electrocuted as well as corpses of villains, as well as a big ass corpse missing a brain, and a one-handed motherfucker pretty much holding a, a remote? As yes, Izumi, her being worried for Izuku, she tells all my villain attack, save my brother. Wait, what? As yes, here we go, and Momo, did you just say? Uh, no way. As yes, Izuku is still standing despite the enormous shock, and it's still going. Shigaraki is like, why won't you go down? As Ayama, he's already seemingly out of it. There, if anything, he has a pulse, but he just keeps going in and out of being dead and alive, all because of the constant electricity going through him. All my, luckily, since there is no Nomu, he doesn't get stabbed in his side. Luckily, it only takes Kurigiri one second since, yeah, but is she say brother? To finally get Shigaraki out of there. He didn't get his hand back, but he's a, he gets to keep his life. That's a good constellation prize, right? <laughs> As yes, the shocking finally ceases, and Izuku is finally able to relax. As All Might, of course, has questions. He's in the hospital. But still full tiger mode, and this is when Inko and Izumi come in to see him. Because Inko, she don't, she don't buy it at all. She no, she's like, no, no, you must be mistaken. Yet you know there's other people with such and such quirks. You know this, mom. He protected me just like Izuku did. We'll see about that. As soon as he wakes up, he starts to shift back, and Inko, she's back in heat, and begins unloading bullets within poor Izuku. As Izuku is like, wait, stop, that's not, what are you doing? That's the one who tried to kill Momo and Himiko. Like, no, that's Izuku. Bullshit, Izuku's like, please stop. Please don't hurt me no more. Uh, wait. Are you? As he looks in Inko upon the whole realization that who he was, she pretty much freaked out and started to transform. Izuku taking a defensive stance. You're the one who almost killed me last time. On my last job. So it is you. How dare you infiltrate UA? Uh, wait. <laughs> I am shifting back to this full human form. Mom, I believe this is 
Izuku. I don't know what happened while he was gone, but this, I believe this is him. How are you so sure? I... I don't know. It's just a feeling. 